this is rajesh hope you are doing good and enjoying your life uh, uh, so welcome to this channel with alien tech champion so this channel actually is regarding to the uh, the just sharing knowledge on technical skills so today i'm going to share about how you can sign up if you are a mobile device management expert and if you have plan to market any uh, from any mdm solutions to microsoft intune which is actually hot so as you can see my screen here uh how you can sign up or sign in into the microsoft intune right so you can just uh, uh open this site or you can find on the google how you can sign in just it will you you'll be landed here so it's learn.microsoft.com uh, okay so this is the site if you scroll down you will see how to sign up for intune I just click on this i will open in another tab and it will uh, you will be landed here welcome to get started right so uh, if you want to use for the personal use uh, uh, this intune tenant you can create if you don't have if you already using outlook you can enter and sign in if you don't have the outlook you can create new one and if you are using for school or work or any organization you can sign up in for azure and and then click on that so i have already signed up with this just for the personal use same you same way you can do for your uh, work school so uh, it's very simple uh, to sign up it's nothing much you have to give all the information here so if you click on sign up it will ask for the username and password and then uh, it will ask for the some username uh, and the gif or the information so as soon as you sign up uh, with your email address let me close this and then you will be you can hit this uh, uh, endpoint dot microsoft which is actually microsoft uh, intune portal previously we called it intune now they rename it the microsoft endpoint manager so you can open in any edge browser preferably i would prefer you to open uh, this uh, endpoint.microsoft.com in edge browser and you see i we have already signed it sign in with the tenant name they have given and its location mdm authority is microsoft intune there is service release and you know i have the tri license right total license users so i have only two users so this is the first uh, page you will see as soon as you learn landed here so uh, this is the organization I, this is just for the testing purpose and if you click on the right hand side you will also see the mdm export right so these are the the main page you will see the all the account status here client app and everything here uh, the for the for the first time where you have to go right just i will show you so go to the tenant administration right and then this is the only one time configurations and you have to do all this customization uh the, the connector status let me go to the connector status so to manage the ios devices you need to set up the apns dep uh if you want to use the apple business manager vpp volume purchase program if you want to use the google play uh, if you want to manage the any android devices you need to uh, integrate uh, this tenant with the google play store and if you want to use this uh, you see all uh, these all are currently not enabled so this is free tenant if you want to use the windows 10 autopilot with auto provisioning yes so if you are using exchange um, internal on premise server i'm sure none of the customer are using but uh, in case if you want have plan to use the certificate authority uh, certificates for then you can configure this and then uh, same for the vpp and dap so these are actually it's required you can also integrate jamf if you are managing mac devices from jamf endpoint and we have a threat defense uh, connector as well mobile and for defender as well for antivirus so this is one time i will show you in the next video but but this is the important you have to configure uh, everything before managing so you need to create these certificates to manage the apple devices as you can see this certificate is required to manage apple devices for similar like google placing it will also uh, 
say it's not provisions uh, so you have to open the google play store and and then uh, integrate this with intune okay this is the one in time and as soon as you configure you will see all these thing here you can uh, configure the connectors uh, uh, you can also check all those connector status here okay and then uh, you can go to the customization and you can uh, you can click on settings and give uh, anything organization name like i am giving something like that pocknet anything you can give pocknet india private limited okay you you can select the custom whatever color you want like black or anything organization name logo you can upload the logo uh, these are the requirements we have given support information contact name website url if it's a website name website url so these are the actually information you can give it here okay uh, let me put it here okay and then the, all these customization right what about information uh, this is the one time actually okay uh, if you click here okay and then review and save privacy statement url i don't have anything as of now so let me just copy uh, any anything okay paste it here so these are the actually some of the because it's star has given so let me save it here and save it this is the one time configuration so this is the default uh, customization that apply to all users and devices and it can be edited but not be deleted okay okay you can define the scopes as well so like if you want to apply to mobile or you can send the custom notifications terms and condition you can define it you can just simply create the terms and conditions if it, and give it to uh, assign to the users. tenant enrollment yeah this is actually we're not gonna talk about here so what you have to do this uh, the connector status you have to configure as per your requirement like if you want to manage only ios then you have to configure this if you want to manage uh, windows then you have to uh, connect your tenant with uh, manage google play store because you see uh, this is the actually requirement uh, and then you have to customize and and then the custom uh, terms and conditions as well so this is one time okay so and then uh, you go to the rules as well and you create some rules like for help decks or on. these are the built-in rules which is actually come by default you can create new rules custom rules and and i can assign the permissions right you can also uh, define the scopes by default uh, it this is the by default scope it's all in tune entities like apps and devices will be are assigned to built-in scopes you can create a scopes and then as license licensing as well okay so this is the one time uh, for uh, uh, we'll we'll discuss in another video how you can set up all these connectors one by one and then uh, how you can manage the users and then groups as well and then uh, how you can enroll the devices as well so keep watching this video uh, this is very important uh, uh, and hot i will i will show you how you can manage your byd devices um, uh, because with intune we have the very uh, unique uh, features like app production policy so without even managing devices without enrolling devices you can product those applications so this is actually it's nice feature which is available only in intune and there is one one of the most uh, level feature is app selective wide for byd devices so keep watching this video and uh, i will explore more on this and i will touch and keep keep me posted of any anything which you actually you you like to know about the intern till then thank you bye bye have a good day and uh, keep exploring our uh, alien tech champion youtube channel and sharing this video thank you have a good day